Get to the chopper! Hi and welcome to Get to the Chopper. I'm Nathan Ferguson and we've had some great guys sit beside me but we've got a tip top guest today. Welcome Josh Chudley. Thanks for having me mate. It's really good to be here seeing the list of um, guest hosts that you've had. Um, hopefully I don't let you down do a little bit better than Rob Louie did. Shout out. <laughs> Early shout out to Rob Louie there. Now mate it is good to see you smiling but how hard has it been the last two months sort of watching the boys just from the sideline while your shoulders recovering? Um, yeah it's been pretty frustrating I guess um, being on the sideline not being able to contribute to the team but it's coming along the shoulder I'm ripping into rehab now um, we've been working really hard with the uh, strength and conditioning coach Hammy and um, Glenny to give myself the best opportunity to get back on the field and hopefully in the near future I'll get back fingers crossed. Yeah, so I've been trying to take a different approach. Paney asked me to give him a bit of a hand, what he's doing with a few of the other senior players. Um, is trying to help off-field and planning on how we're going to play specific games and that against specific teams. And So I've really enjoyed the challenge of that side because that's something that I haven't really done before and I haven't really had the opportunity to do it. But I'd much rather be on the field with the boys. Yeah, I bet you would be. Uh, you alluded to it. We went down again on the weekend. Our Mandy Blackhawks beaten 22-16 by the Capras in Rockhampton. And on top of the defeat, Jalen Feeney suffered a serious leg injury. But I guess the positives to take from the match was the host plus cup debuts of Zach Laybutt and Mia Puavase. Yeah, mate, always, always awesome to, um, for the club to get an opportunity for the boys they boo. Um, 21's boys, there's been a fair few consistent boys there. But these two boys have really been standing out. Zachy's been rock solid out centre. Me has been really aggressive in defence, which is what we're sort of after. I um, mean, yeah, it was a pretty special moment in the dressing sheds. The two boys' parents uh, actually got the opportunity to present them with their debut jerseys, which is um, a nice touch, a special moment for them and their families. Uh, they did their families and themselves proud and didn't look out of place, Virgo. And of course, Zach, he couldn't have timed his debut much better with brother Kyle becoming the most capped Mandy Blackhawk when he ran out against Central Queensland. We would have loved him to break the record at Jack Mansky Oval, obviously, but I'm sure he'll get a huge reception at home this weekend. And I reckon we'll probably play this video on the big screen before he takes the field. Sounds good. We've come a long, long way together Through the hard times and the good I have to celebrate you, baby I have to praise you like I should I have to praise you So rare, so fine. I'm so glad you're mine. You're so rare, so fine. I'm so glad you're mine. You're so I'd just like to obviously uh, congratulate Kyle on his breaking of Corey Jensen's record. You know, Kyle's been here early on in 2016, our second year, and spanned over a number of years between here and being allocated to Mackay Cutters, obviously. Um, a guy that's you know, played at 100%, but also played at 90% and 80%, and they're treasures within any club. So, yeah, again, congratulations to a good club man. It'd be good if he stuck around until he was about 36. 
just want to congratulate you on mate on breaking the club record for the most cap uh, Blackhawks player. Uh, awesome achievement, mate. Uh, Townsville is your home away from home, and um, to represent the club 79 times is an awesome achievement. Keep on going. Butsy, I just want to congratulate you on becoming the most capped player for the Blackhawks. It's a fantastic achievement. Um, your toughness and, and your versatility are two things that um, make you a really important part of our side. And I wish you all the best for your first home game here as the most capped Blackhawk of all time. Obviously, I want to say just how proud I am of Kyle. And, um, it's pretty crazy that a few years ago I was travelling around just to watch Kyle play cup. Um, and now being able to run out with him was a pretty special moment. He's getting to the old age <laughs> now, nah, but definitely still got a few more years in him and yeah, keep playing some good footy. I just want to say congratulations on becoming the most capped Blackhawk, um, taking over my spot there. You've been a stalwart of the club and hopefully you've got many more games to come. So once again, congratulations and all the best. Hey Kyle, congrats on becoming the most capped Blackhawk. It's a massive achievement and a milestone I know you're quite proud of. Super proud of how hard you work always. Um, go out there and enjoy it. Um, I love you. I have to praise you like I should. Yep, congrats again, Kyle. He's actually not far off playing his 100th host plus cup game too. Nah, that's amazing. He'll probably want an, uh, another video for his 100th game, so look yep. out, Butts. Can't wait to do that one too. <laughs> now, the under-21s, they lost at Brown Park as well. It was their first defeat of the season. The visitors were on the back foot from the kickoff, conceding three unanswered tries in the blink of an eye. They did respond with an onslaught of their own, but the Capras claimed a 36-26 victory. Townsville coach Steve Shepard said his players weren't too disheartened by the result, but a fair chunk of them won't get a chance to make amends against the Tigers. Here's Pup. Yeah, it's unfortunate, you know, we probably didn't play to the standard we want, but uh, I just thought we were a little bit complacent in the lead up to the game and probably showed being down 18 nil after 12 minutes. Uh, well, the boys did a good job to pull back, but anyway, that's footy, you know, they're a young bunch and they'll learn and yeah, we need to just make sure we're better in a lot of areas than we were last week. We're going to lose a few this week with Queensland under 19 selection, so, um, you know, the, the squad will be tested, but that's what it's about. All these boys have trained hard all pre-season and given their opportunity, I'm sure they'll do the job. And good luck to those boys stepping up on Saturday. Of course, that match will be a curtain raiser to the main match. Townsville's tussle with the Tigers in the Host Plus Cup kicks off at 4pm. Here's Aaron Payne's thoughts on the Tigers. Okay, I jammed five roofies in there. Just go in there and throw it into them. Hey, kitty. Hey, sweetie, it's okay. Get a little snack for you. Real important that you eat this, okay? You just... Have a little... Ah! Ah! Yes. East have started the season really well. Uh, they were in the top four for the first part of the season. They've lost their last two games, uh, and they'll be very desperate to get two points as we are. Yeah, look, East have been getting four or five Melbourne Storm uh, allocated players back to them consistently week in, week out. They already boast a big, strong, experienced side. But the guy to watch out for, he's been playing really well and he, he comes from Norse last year is Bernard Gregorius, a centre who's got um, you know some real strikes. So Danny, our right centre, is going to have his hands full against him on their left. I thought our two debutants on the weekend, young Zach Laybart and young Mia Puovasa, I thought they were quite good. Uh, they hold their spot in the team this week. Zach actually starts. We also see the return of Thomas Chester, which is really timely after unfortunately losing Jalen Feeney to a freak of an accident where he was taking a high ball in the air and uh, he suffered some damage to his leg, so he'll be out for some time. Yeah, look, I thought our performance against the Capras on the weekend was much better than the week before against Mackay. We were a lot better in a lot of areas despite not winning and getting the two points. They starved us of possession. Um, they starved us of field position. Uh, we knew they'd do it, but they did it well, and they're a good side. They're the real deal this year. It's important we you know, take the good things with us into this week. We haven't had the greatest of records at home this year, which has been disappointing, so it's a really important game for us. The players are fully aware of the importance of winning at home, um, you know, and I guess repaying all of our loyal sponsors and supporters. Uh, so we're really looking forward to this weekend. And another Townsville side stacked with many Blackhawks will also be in action on Saturday. The Stingers will try to back up their Foley Shield success earlier this year with a win over Rocky in the 4X League Championship semi-final. They won't have home ground advantage this time, but the visitors are full of confidence given their dominant display against Cairns and Mackay. 
Lock Mitch Grimes is backing the team to get the job done and book a battle with Gold Coast. We had our first training session last Friday, so uh, yeah, the boys were pretty keen to rip in. Pretty sure we train Wednesday uh, and Friday this week. Yeah, I feel like our prep's going to be better and yeah, hopefully string a few combos with a couple of new boys that have come into the team and most of us have played with each other before, so we sort of know how everyone works and we go down there with our head screwed on and complete and we'll come away with the win, I'm fairly certain. Uh, I did watch a little bit of their competition. Yeah, look, they're pretty strong. A couple of tough boys in there and Murphy knows a few of them, so um, he's been pointing a few out, but yeah, looking forward to ripping. Chubbs, I sense the boys are ready to deliver at Brown Park this weekend. Yeah, mate, I was just having a look at the team on paper. It's a very strong team. I'd hate to be coming up against those fellas. Well, I know a lot of them, they won't be available for local league this weekend, which will be a catch-up round, but let's take a look at the action from round nine. Brothers Burdigan and Herbert River were victorious. The Crushers claiming a tight win over Centrals at the Sports Reserve. The Roosters' triumph over the Lions looked easier on the scoreboard than it was on the field. Weston was in the contest for a long time but ran out of legs and the hosts capitalised late on. Meanwhile, Brothers survived a scare from Charters Towers. The latter leaders looked on track to secure a comfortable win when they scored the first 12 points of the game, but the Miners had other ideas and even hit the front. However, the reigning premiers prevailed by a narrow margin. Many Blackhawks forward Farron Morris was strong returning for the Brethren. He hasn't had a consistent run of footy to start the season due to injuries and work commitments. We got out to that nicely, as you said, but uh, we knew they were always going to you know, stick in there and compete for the full 80. I, I think they did surprise us a little bit, getting those 16 points back to us, you know, so yeah, happy with the win. Seems like I'm a bit of a jinx to the club every time I'm playing, we're sort of scraping by and only just winning. And when I'm away, they're usually touching teams up, so played the first one, missed two, and then yeah, went away for work last week, so just the lungs were burning there because I didn't play last week, so yeah, that match fitness was down a bit. The first 15 was pretty, pretty tough, I was blowing a bit. Fergo was actually at the game on Saturday night, it was a nice, um, it was a memorial shield day between brothers and Charles Towers, and um, I was really impressed with the game. It was a really good quality game. I thought brothers were going to run away with it early as, but Charles Towers really dug in. Um, both our boys that played for Charles Towers as well, I thought, really took him on. Jay Moore really took the brothers forward on, and Franey was really good on his um, edge. So it was a really good game to watch, and it shows the strength of um, the local league in Townsville. And Jay Moore got himself a meat pie. He was pretty happy about that. Yeah, mate. Not too often front rollers get meat pies, so you've got to celebrate those on Jay Moore. <laughs> well, the Miners, they might have another tough task this weekend. They'll take on the Western Lions. Brothers play North, who will return from the bye. And Centrals and Herbert River, they'll face off yet again. Chuds, that's the show, mate. Thanks very much for being a part of it. Now, any special mentions or shout-outs you feel you need to give? Thanks for having me, Fergo. Um, yeah, just firstly, I'd just like to um, congratulate Butsy again on last weekend, mate. Um, you're a very important part of this team. You've, I don't know who else can go from playing centre to halfback to front row to hooker, mate. So, you're very valuable to this team. And... Um, Disappointing we didn't get the win for you last weekend, but hopefully the boys can um, turn one on this weekend at home and um, enjoy it in front of all our fa friends and family. Well, that's it, guys. Remember, you can stay up to date with all your Mandy Blackhawks news by jumping on the social media platforms and on our website. See you next week. Say classy, Tanzel. Love your belly.